Damn! Are you serious? Kent Hughes! Dude! Dude, 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 we had said yesterday that, okay, let's actually pull that video up. Lego Rocks 99 videos, yeah. So yesterday, we said that the San Jose Sharks made a really aggressive trade with the Buffalo Sabres. They moved up a few spots in the draft, and it cost them quite a bit to do that. Well... I guess Ken Hughes saw this video, he saw this trade, and he was like, let me one-up you there, San Jose. Let's make our own aggressive trade. Because take a look at this. The LA Kings have acquired the 26th, 57th, and 198th overall picks in the 2024 draft from Montreal in exchange for the 21st pick. Montreal traded two picks in the 57th and 198th pick to move up five spots in the top 20 of the NHL draft. That's crazy. No, not top 20, top 26. Excuse me. They moved up from 26 to 21, and it cost them two picks to do that. 57th overall, that is a second, and 198th overall. Oh boy, what is that? Uh, 32, 64... 128, uh, let's just say it's the sixth round, I guess. Seventh round, a later pick. Montreal literally traded away a second and a later pick to move up five spots in the 2024 first round. That is a lot. That's aggressive as all heck. And look, I get it, you can say that for Montreal, it's easy to say that they can do this because they have so many picks already. Big shout out over to Cap Friendly. One of the last days we'll actually be able to use this website, but the Habs just traded away one of their seconds that they had acquired in... What was that trade? I completely forgot. Let's go out there and look at this. So this was the breakdown of the assets here. Ah, I could have just looked at this here. Yeah, no, I'm kind of stupid. So Montreal acquires LA's 2024 first, which is 21st overall, in exchange for the Sean Monaghan Winnipeg first round pick, which was 26th. 2024 second round pick, Colorado number 57. I believe that was from the Arturi Lekkonen trade. I may be wrong about that. Or, yeah, Justin Barron, Arturi Lekkonen. That's what it was, right? Actually, let's just control F, 57th. Let's go down there. Yeah, Justin Barron, Arturio Lekin, and there you go, there you go. And then Montreal traded away their own 7th round pick at 198th overall to LA. So for the Kings, this is a pretty tidy piece of business. If they don't really see too much value in staying at number 21, get yourselves a 57th overall pick. Get yourselves a later pick to move down just 5 spots. And for Montreal, for a team that had so many draft picks to begin with... They do have the flexibility to shell out a little bit more if they really, really wanted to go up and grab a guy at the 21st overall spot. Now, as we had said in the video yesterday about the San Jose Sharks and that top pick over here, the 11th overall pick for 14 and 42, we had said yesterday that if the Sharks just really have a guy at 11th that they want, that they don't know is going to be there at 14 where they were at earlier, it cost them a full-on second round pick to move up three spots. That's crazy. If you have a guy that you just really, really want, okay, fine. These rebuilding bottom feeder teams are going to find a way to get what they want, and if it costs them multiple picks, then they're, they're just going to do it. Montreal's in a similar spot. They had a lot of them. They really wanted to move up here to number 21, and that's what they did. So the Montreal Canadiens, Kent Hughes, just made a really aggressive trade. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Canadiens getting number 21 in the draft in exchange for 26, 57, and 198. I hope you enjoyed this short video. And bye.